When the inferno came, farmers in Zamora became firefighters. My God, he says, I'm all alone. In remote areas like this, there is no time to wait for a rescue crew. You have to save yourself. The wind whips up the flames in every direction. It is easy to find yourself surrounded. I came out of nowhere. <laughs> Come on, go, go, go. Yeah, you gotta get around this guy. Days later, Manuel tills charred soil, putting out any remaining embers. We had help, but from other farmers in the area. The local government didn't help us at all. It's very nice to come after the fire and say we will pay for all of this, but the time to help us is when the fire is here. The blaze burned crops, destroyed infrastructure, and left behind economic uncertainty. Fires in this part of the country may be under control for now, but there is still smoke hanging in the air. You can see it obscuring the landscape. You can even smell it. For the people living here and for those fire rescue teams that are based here in Tabara, these are ever-present reminders that the wildfire season is far from over. For three generations, Yolanda Mayo Julian's family has lived and worked on this land. She watched their barn go up in flames in minutes. Taking stock, she says they don't know how they'll be able to recover. I've never seen anything like this before. The fire came very quickly with a lot of wind. It was just relentless. We could do absolutely nothing. It's still going. It still has a lot of power. There used to be hundreds of animals here. Most were moved, but Yolanda's family could not save the hay the livestock eats. Even before the wildfires changed this landscape, Life here was hard. Families struggling just to make a living are now scrambling to keep their future from turning to ash. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Tabara, Spain.